Hey guys, Jim and I back with another manga video, and today we are doing a PS3 uh, slash 4 or Xbox or just basically console in general. Uh, some random little, uh, a random little tip because I've seen so many hidden chess tutorials, and you know they're all quite good. Uh, well, most of them are quite good at least. But um, I've seen a few, and to be honest, this is my favourite one. Uh, I really, really like this one. I've never had anyone found it. If you're ever on a factions and you have a secret chest, you have some stuff that you want to put in a secret chest, this is the one I love to do. Because this is just my favourite because it just blends in so perfectly. And no one really ever finds it unless they blow you completely up. But if you can put it somewhere more hidden than something like this, it's so good. And it can also be used for adventure maps with little hidden chests. Uh, so my plan today is to show you an epic uh, little tip on making a hidden chest. So this is what's going to happen. You've got your material of choice. So I've got two examples just to prove it. So you've got like a bookshelf and then you've got kind of a locker. So you've got your bookshelf here. You go in, press L2, and there you go. You've got a bookshelf with your books or whatever you want. Put a diamond sword in there, anything. But whatever you want in there really really good so say you just got a massive library you can actually have stuff inside of it and look it completely hidden how is this possible i mean look look at this how is this possible you're probably all wondering uh, just to prove it works with any material if you go here which is kind of my little mini quick design of a locker open that you got your locker here press l2 there's locker number four in your school, and you've got a diamond sword in there for some random reason. So think about how this could work for a base. Uh, it doesn't work with obsidian or bedrock, however, uh, because a piston needs to be able to move it. So if it's that, it doesn't work. And I'm not sure if it works with TNT. It might not. Uh, but those blocks don't work, so it's annoying for that because obsidian it obviously doesn't work, and that's a good faction base. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to waste any more time because I've already blabbered on for too long. Let's actually get in with how to make this. So if you go behind here, you can see there's actually a minecart with a chest in here. Same in here, you've got your minecart with a chest. Now, obviously, you can just uh, build a little wall behind here to cover it. Uh, but it's a really fiddly thing that's quite annoying to do. So I'm just going to build another locker so it's quick and easy for you guys to learn how to do it. Uh, and I'm not going on for too long. So you build your wall or whatever it is. This back wall here actually isn't completely needed. The only real reason why it's here is to cover up the back. So all you do is you build it here and then you've got that little space there. So let's put our door on to make it look more like a locker. There we go. You've got the shape pretty much nailed. So let's go here and we will put it here. Have I done that right? No, I have not actually. It is supposed to be like that. And then you've got your shelving unit. And it's like that. So your hole still is there, but you've just blocked it off. So now if you go here and press L2, what's gone on? Absolutely nothing. So, you've got your blocks of choice. Uh, now what you have to do is get a minecart with the chest and to make it actually work, instead of it going into here and it's saying uh, minecart with a chest on the top left of the GUI, it instead says bookshelf or locker or whatever you want to call it. Just name it in an anvil uh, to do it. I'm not sure if this works on creative, if you can name it in an anvil, but I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, so anyway, what we do now is we break this block and this block and then we put a rail down here and if it is facing this way all you need to do is to fix it is by literally putting them another rail there and breaking it because you've just faced it in the wrong direction because it'll either face something like north and south or west and east uh, east, east sorry uh, something like that anyway uh, so you just do another one there so it's facing this way and then you need to put your minecart with the chest down, remember its name, so if I open it now, it's called Locker, or Locker 4, or Bookshelf, or whatever, and I want to give it a nice gentle nudge, actually I've messed that one up, because it's gone slightly to the side, now you simply just don't want it to go to the side, you want to be as careful as possible, so let me try again, so I go, want to go pretty much directly in the middle, and slowly start to budge it, and I haven't seen it move, 
so hopefully that's okay so now I want to put a full block there so this can all be full blocks it doesn't matter but this one has to be a full block then put another block there another block here destroy this middle block and put a piston this cannot be a sticky piston has to be a piston put a lever or button or anything down and pull it now you have to break the lever block piston and now you can put your full block there or your just half slab now if you open this you can see there's nothing here and if I L2 then the locker is there so what happens is the minecart with the chest is stuck right in between the block but if I was to break this you can see it's shown because it is more or less on this side than that side which is the good thing so sometimes it may go on the wrong side so it's visible onto this side which I won't show you because it will drag on the video too long but it will basically just look like this which will obviously ruin the effect completely so all you have to do is follow the simple steps and be as careful as possible pushing the mine with the chest in which is the hardest part about this tutorial anyway I've been Joe Triple 2 I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and you will all use it this is for console I don't know if it works for PC currently uh, it might work in 1.9 or 1.8 currently. I don't know. Test it for yourself and find out. Anyway, guys, I, uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao, bye.